The dying and the injured just kept on arriving. This was meant to be the final push for Sirt. But the revolutionaries have taken massive casualties. Uh, he told me that he saw eight uh, expired cases as uh, martyrs of uh, revolutionaries inside. Eight and revolutionaries dead, this man saw. Get as killed. martyrs. Yeah. We don't say uh, dead. martyrs. Yes, we say martyrs here. Revolutionaries inside, and he saw a lot of, uh, of dead. Uh, of pro Gaddafi soldiers and Zayas, which are spread uh, in different uh, uh, areas inside the cell. Yes. Doctors were overwhelmed. 25 year old Hussein Hishi from Misrata was just one of the patients who needed resuscitation. He died minutes later. We've been here for the last hour and casualties just keep coming in. Uh, we can hear the sound of gunfire, plenty of bombs as well in the background. This was supposed to be the final big push for NTC soldiers, but they are clearly taking a beating inside Sirt. Uh, we've also witnessed a number of casualties being brought in with very serious gunshots to the chest and also the head. Uh, and here, inside the makeshift morgue, bodies are starting to mount up. Mostly we are from snipers in very sensitive areas like the chest and the head. And the others were blast injuries all over due to rockets blasting all over. The number I don't really know, but they are a lot. They started to increase from 9 o'clock until now. The numbers started to increase a lot. These, of course, are just the casualties of the revolutionaries. It is impossible to gauge how many civilians and Gaddafi loyalists have been hurt or killed in the fighting. Alex Rossi, Sky News, on the outskirts of Sirte.